All right, we're going to start with the third one because as everyone knows, three is the first number. Uh, so new IP. Uh, I actually plan on playing this one game because it just happens to be one of those games that I vaguely remember from so long ago, having actually played, not 100%ed, but completed at least. And those are one of the most fun guys for me. Ow! I forgot to turn on the volume. Um, sorry for skipping that, by the way. That's basically the opening of the show, which I probably can't put on here. We'll probably just get the video taken down. So here we are. We have a luxurious two save slots. We actually have a battery save. Uh, I could not remember which game this was. Turns out that, as you can see, there are in fact three of these, at least. Language. Sound. Music. Yes. So I remember very little. Uh, I remember a little bit. In fact, it took me some time to remember which game this actually was. I couldn't remember the name or anything. Um, and I'm not sure I remember the cutscenes or anything at all either. You think sounds familiar. Um, another reason I probably won't, I wouldn't play any other games in the series is I don't remember the or source material too well. I think well enough to actually get through this without it being too weird. I forgot how luxurious the home was. Jeez. Or well, wherever we are. Memory failing me. Weirdly, well, I, I got a glimpse of reviews of this game earlier, and actually it seems like this game's fairly well received, which is not something you see often for these kinds of, not only licensed games, but games on this platform especially. You too. I think we would have tried all the frequencies by now. See, one of my common issues is that I talk over these cutscenes and I progress them while not actually managing to ingest almost anything that happens in them. I'm curious, I don't think I understood much of this game's story way back in the day. I'm curious how much I can actually understand this time, but that means I actually have to read the things. Actually, I'm slightly surprised that there's as much reading as there is in this. Well, I mean, it's not like the target audience for this is super young. They can read. Wait, I cannot remember his name. No, well that's... I mean, I guess you only have like four villains a week. It's pretty easy to pin down who it is at any given point. Alright, so I don't remember... I'm curious how much I'm going to remember of this as I go through it. That's the fun part. Looking at this, I only very vaguely remember the art style. I remember the first all being a jungle sort of thing, which makes sense since we're talking about Mr. Monkey Man. A new save pod feature. We could not save our game before now. You always had to do everything one run, or you had to use a, a password system, I imagine. Why does Ron get to be on the background? And not me. Alright, trying to acknowledge controls. Select as how you switch characters. I think this game's gimmick in the series is that you actually now have Ron as a playable character instead of just being him. That's the, the main way. Okay, you always run. You'll have to double tap. I think that's the main way that I was able to distinguish this game for others in the series. Or, the way I was able to remember that this was the game that I actually had um, played as opposed to the others. As you can see, there are multitude of levels, in case you did not expect that. I don't actually look at how many there are. How do I talk to you, by the way? I should attempt to punch you. Triggers? No. I guess I can't interact with you specifically. Okay, you just interact automatically when you go close to people. Shouldn't you already know? Oh no, this is over the training facility. Well, shouldn't you already know? I just told you. Holographic shadow. That sounds kind of redundant, doesn't it? Defensive. I'm not going to be able to block anything in this game. Uh, do we, how hard do we want to tutorial ourselves? I don't think the game actually tells you how to do stuff in the levels proper. I don't... I could be wrong. I'm 
probably should actually. Oh no, music! I have no idea what that is. By the way, what's actually on the pause menu? Nothing. Well, that doesn't feel like the place to, to go. Start. Whoops. Well, we're gonna race today. Actually, can't you leave? Yes. Okay. If you stop on one of these platforms, it makes you leave. You don't have to press anything. Well, okay, so here. That lets me. I guess this is a menu. If I press A, it, it brings me down. It's acrobatics. So I can't not punch if I decline, which is kind of strange. I mean, it's just really fluid. Yeah, that's actually weirdly fluid. Like, almost too much, as weird as that sounds. And gadgets that I do not have. Fantastic, thank you. I am well equipped today. I guess we're gonna go after Monkey with nothing but a pair of cargo pants and half a shirt. Jumping is possible if you haven't noticed. Okay, you can drop their platforms. I always forget. You never know which games to do and don't let you do that. Okay, I, I don't think I should have expected such a thing, but you cannot double jump. Uh, we do have an air attack. Can't. Well, nothing has to be hold a direction when you attack, aside from the other crouch, of course. Okay, I don't know why this thing didn't activate the first time I stood on it, but sure. Can I, can I just jump in then? Yeah, okay. I do not have the manual for this game anymore, so we're gonna have to actually learn how to play the game on our own. I don't remember how much there is to do tutorial-wise. As you can see, there's stuff you unlock in the game as you go on. We can't, we couldn't do all this stuff at once if we wanted. Ooh, okay, yeah, see that? I could not remember you could do. So you have to hold a direction to do that? Oh no, it's really just if you press A while not holding any direction. Okay. Easy enough. You know, for all the reading this game is opening has, compared to lots of games that are licensed like this one, you start out with a tutorial that has a surprisingly wordless tutorial, which I don't mind. They do a pretty decent job of that. And don't worry, I will actually make sure we actually get to like a level in this video. Even if we have to do a little bit of a tutorial first. I just want to make sure I know how to play the game first. So that's a shadow hologram. What's different about this thing than a normal hologram? Good job. Freddy, you have to press up to grab the thing. It's always the temptation to try to perfectly imitate specific frames that are pictured by these holograms. X5 is interestingly locked. I'm curious that's an ability that we actually don't get until later. Grabbing a ledge, not surprising. Grab like this multiple times in a row. Fancy that. And that's it. Short and sweet at least. And combat, I don't remember much of anything about either. And we can probably leave the race for now, probably. And remember, there aren't any gadget tutorials we can do yet, anyways. I like how there are no tutorials we can do with Ron yet. I'm not really allowed to acknowledge his existence. Oh. Press button to it. Oh, that, that's it. Well, there's more combat than that, of course. Do you have a running attack or any sword? Not as far as I can tell. I'm not sure if your jumping attack has any special characteristics. Oh, you can jump on enemies. That's interesting. Okay. So you can Goomba Stomp. That is not intuitive to me. Okay, so you do actually do more damage to the jumping kick. That's what I wanted to know. It disconcerting how I'm always on the edge of this platform. 
almost every single time I manage to go up into the elevator. And I'm just phasing through the wall. Button! Interestingly, that you'd think that crouching would be under acrobatics. Interesting, you don't have a crawling animation, it's just crouch. That's a little annoying, actually. <laughs> okay, you take damage, you try stamp and hit your head on something. That's amusing. Yeah, isn't this supposed to be combat? Hold on. What is this here? I'm not how I was trying to hit that guy, but I'll take it. I think that's all we can. No, there's more we can do. <laughs> yeah, Ron is not allowed today. He's being banned from the training facility for the next while. A new enemy. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, you got some visibility frames there. I can push enemies away, that's annoying. Yes, yeah, so I guess that is, that that just shows you how and respawners work. You can push enemies away as you punch and then your next hit in the combo won't land, that's always annoying. And unless we do the race, I think this is the last tutorial to do. Yes, uh, I remember the crouch. Interesting, that seems to do more damage? Okay, no, not necessarily. It's not that it really does more damage, it's just that they're scripted to only get... Okay, nice place to stand. They're scripted to only get knocked out after you use the right attack. Okay, out of curiosity. Why not? Tutor me on races. Is there much... I don't remember precisely what's actually involved here. I got a helmet. Oh, okay, because I actually have skates. This isn't much of a tutorial as it is just sink or swim. I'm attempting to jump over... Oh, wait, hold on. That's what it is. You don't jump over those. You, um... You attack them. I don't remember if this ever comes up in the game, presumably at some point. The things I remember- the very few things I remember about this game are actually entirely with Ron, as strange as that might sound. And by that I mean basically precisely one thing. And there is- then there also being one item I was ever actually able to find in the, um... Or figure out a way how to collect in the first level. Let's see if we can find it this time. Alright. Does the game give me prizes for completing all those tutorials? No idea. Maybe let's see if I actually do all of them or something. Probably there are three doors. Maybe it's if you complete all three of these things individually, completely, which you can't do yet. We'll see. Anyways, actually, I'm curious now. Well, how do I try to have Ron go on these? Wait a minute. Okay. Okay, so some of these are specific to just. Okay, that's what it is. Some of these are specific to a particular character. Others are not. You can just use that the character. Well, how does I select one that's specific to Ken? Okay, I just can't. Okay, fair enough. Well, Kim's closer, so how about I switch to her? Can you already say that? No? Uh. Fantastic. The future. And also tracking devices in them. It really is the future. You tell me this thing can't show a map before? Very good question. But only communicator, not the wrong communicator. He has to, he has to do it himself. Also, Rubus has his existence acknowledged in this game at some point. Uh, I'm surprised I didn't come from the tutorial, actually. 
But yes, there will be Rufus in this game, don't you worry. It's one of the two things I remember. And that's a very good question. Like, did you black out? You're just here now. What? Did Rufus get a little parachute instead of just, like, staying with you? Rendezvous. Oh man, those are big words for someone playing this game. And by big words, I mean very French words. Alright, but yeah, as promised, I'll actually spend some time playing this. In this episode, since we're... Otherwise, it's just cutscenes and tutorials. I do think this game has a decent length. I don't quite remember. Shouldn't you have brought it with you? Like, and kept it with you? Instead of getting it strewn throughout this place? Okay, maps. I don't feel like showing what everything is everywhere. As you can probably imagine, Ron mostly works the same as Cam. In fact, he even strikes the same poses effectively. So he's much less content to hang on things for some reason. See, this is one thing I was always confused about. So you do later on get an item that lets you break through this. But what confuses me is, if you come back to this level later in the game, you still don't have that item anymore to break through here. I'm not sure there's something I missed Why I should play this game. How do I have 100 ores already? Jeez. I don't know if these do anything. I'm not sure these even are supposed to be, actually. Can I move the camera down? No, fantastic. Collect them as if they actually do something for the time being. This is a Rufus location. Well, I don't have Rufus. I can't do anything with that. I believe that's a prompt to actually do something with Rufus. Uh. Oh, not quite. Yeah, those things are a hundred. Jeez. One and a hundred. <laughs> Rufus is now a collectible item. Hi, Rufus. How are you doing? Very floaty. There's the map telling me to go specific places. I guess it's these little circle things that are bouncing around that, are, that I'm supposed to do something with. See, I'm still so bugged though with this thing. Hi, Rufus. It's not like Rufus can chew through it or anything. You absolutely can do something with that later on. Oh yeah, does Rufus have a, like a timer or something? It has a timer that starts specifically. Yeah, so Rufus can only run around for so long. It's the timer in the top right. And he can run back up to Ron. I don't remember if you can act- I don't remember what happens if you just don't get Rufus back in time. And Rufus- Even though he's on a timer, Rufus feels the need to strike a pose the entire time. Oh yeah, Rufus can run walls. Oh yeah, that's one of the things Rufus does. Uh, you see this is a little Rufus wheel that he can run in. I think you just snap back? Yeah, you just snap back to Ron if you run out of time. Oh. <laughs> now, that, now the game shows you a tutorial. I know the tutorial hologram also makes noise. Yeah, I, I was going to show that. Thank you, game. Okay, they're not going to show the whole thing. Position ourselves correctly. Pixel perfect. Fantastic. This is just health. I'm sure you have no idea for right now. Go on, Rufus. Get in there. Yeah. I found the hologram Rufus actually managed to... That was interesting. You don't... Time stops when you're in the wheel. Huh. I actually managed to rotate the wheel a little bit. Like it was already partly rotated. Take that monkey. What is it with licensed games and abusing monkeys? Might need that hell someday. I don't think full damage is a thing in this game? No. I don't remember how many points actually heals you for when you grab it. 
We'll find out soon enough, I imagine. Yeah, so one day I'd like to figure out how to get the collectibles I'm missing in this game. This might be my opportunity to do so. Where am I on my map right now? Alright, so I should be able to find Kim. Well, I should be able to meet up with Kim eventually. I don't think there's much point to me going. Oh, okay. We might be able to progress right this way. There's a picture. Oh yeah, that's one collectible in the game. You can find however many of. Uh, I was gonna have Kim meet with me here again, but... I think Spickly Rufus can run on walls. I don't mean, like, climb walls. I mean, you can see he literally jumps off the wall and lands back on it again afterwards. We can just go ahead with that game, I guess. Oh, it is in fact the wrong indicator. There we go. Oh, pfft. or the game just to do it for you. Fantastic. Man, the jump height is so low in this game. Ow. And yeah, I still managed to hit my head, head on things. I believe Rubus is specific is strictly speaking a gadget. In fact I might have been able to use I might have been able to do a Rubus tutorial in the beginning. I keep trying to press up to pull myself one like this, but you can't. You have to jump specifically. Oh, come on. Yeah. There we go. I don't know why Kim insists on hitting that monkey with her feet when it's at face level or higher. But I think I'll try to meet up with Ron and then we'll cut things there. That's weird, I can't actually myself to jump upwards on that thing. Oh. Is there anything to the... Nope. Doesn't seem to be anything to the left there. And there are collectibles to find in this game, so... Can't look down, unfortunately, so I don't know if there's anything over there. Does the map suggest anything interesting? It almost does. Oh, I like sleeping down here now. I wonder if your map stays filled if you've actually done a level and you come back to it. Like, and in universe, you kind of go back in time. Like, you go through the whole story and whatnot again. It's not like you're just going through a level multiple times. So you don't get to keep your items from the later levels or anything. Okay, now I can jump upwards. I don't know why I couldn't before. You have to time... Seems like you have to time your jump? Yeah, see, now I have... Unless you can only do that if there's actually something above you, which is strange. I don't expect to be so contact sensitive. Alright, up we go. Yeah, it's only if there's something above you that you can do that, which is strange. I see an occasion there's something on my left I can also swing across. So can you just swing any time there's a ceiling above you? Yeah, I can't I can't even. It's strange. We have a hard time even um getting myself to jump to the left off of that thing. It's like any given thing to grab is anything you can swing on is actually totally context sensitive in terms of what you can and can't do with it. Here we go. So this one I can go up on. Oh, but then I can't move to the side at all. It's interesting. I'm not trying to... Like, what are you doing now? I'm, I'm not trying to go. I don't know this part of the game. I remember it being a problem if you tried to... Oh, come on. There we go. So I do what these do, but... Now, I remember the game being so particular about which direction you jump off these things. Like, I'm holding... It doesn't seem to be... There doesn't seem to be any element of what direction I'm holding that determines how I jump off of one of these things. It's just a matter of how the game wants me to do it. Ooh, 
What? Come on. I want to grab those things. It's also very strange where there is and is not ceiling I can grab. Come on, I can't you can't overshoot it and then catch it on the way down. Which is kind of exactly how a grappling hook works. You have to grab catch things on the way up. There you go. Now I'm satisfied. There is nothing as far as I can tell I actually do it with any of that, but I guess you've seen it. And just for completion. I think you just die if you touch water. Okay, cannot quite get it there. Now oh, because you actually have to grab the log instead. Okay. Might there be anything below us? I mean, nothing is really killing us right now if we fall. Well, there is water now, isn't there? I wish I could look down. There's some, some minor things that are bugging me in this game that I did not remember. I think this thing would be a bigger boon for platforming than it actually is. Grabbed onto something, I guess. Oh, okay, that time. So I, at least we're going left to right, it's just a matter of jumping when you're actually swinging left to right, I guess. Yeah. But if the game wants you to go up on one of these things, it, 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 the game just decides that for you. You don't seem to get to control. Which direction? Whether it can jumps up or not. Branch nearby, and I think we managed to cover the map pretty well. This one, the low, low section here. Hey, can I? Uh... No. Eh. Oh, cannot really try to. Trying to grapple the monkey just for fun. Okay, I'll start jumping on you. It's a really short punch that does not let me go forwards at all. Here we go, so Ron, this is what Ron's on earlier. That's my hitbox right now, jeez. Just straight through things, it looks like. Now then. Okay. I'm not gonna ask what Ron was doing, I'll just see you next time.